lucky. You just keep coming back for more. Again and again and again. <laughs> Don't you know I have beaten all the greats? I ended, Gail Kim. I've beaten Kong and you, oh, Brookie, you're not gonna be any different. I am the longest reigning knockouts champion in history. Oh, God, oh, God. I know, I know. I am the champion, and oh, Brooke, you're just a loser. And once I beat you, there's no one left to stand in my way. No one. Championship time. The falling contest scheduled for one fall is for the Knockouts Championship. Introducing first from Houston, Texas, Brooke! The two-time Knockouts Champion, the pride and joy of Houston, Texas. She has been a thorn in the side poke of your girl, Taryn Terrell, and the Dollhouse. Yeah, you know, she kind of hangs around. Uh, She's been sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. And Pope wouldn't be surprised if Taryn Terrell comes out here and rubs that face straight into the back. That face being the face of the pride and joy, the knockout brook. Accompanied by the Dollhouse and your Knockouts Champion, Terry Terrell! Thanks to Courtney Love and Hole for the use of this song, the theme song of the Dollhouse. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to figure out why you're talking, Josh. I thought we had this conversation a week or so ago. No talking during the Dollhouse entrance. Let's just enjoy it. Go get a cup of coffee. By you. I, the, the, the people that you support on our show and the things that you say, they're, they're just outlandish. Ridiculous. I'm going to start working on every show on Destination America. I'm going to start with Buying the Rockies. Tune in for a brand new episode of Buying the Rockies next Monday, 9, 8 Central, right here on Destination America. I love Taryn Terrell in the Dow House. I'm the Pope. Taryn Terrell defending her championship here against Brooke. It's all started when Taryn Terrell, oh, cheap shot there. It all started when Taryn Terrell told Awesome Kong, I'll defend my title against you. It's gonna be a lingerie pillow fight. Brooke took exception to that, said that it was a slight on all the knockouts here, that it was disrespectful to the athletic women that compete on Wednesday Night Impact. Well, Josh, how disrespectful can it be? Taryn Terrell, the knockouts champion who set a record. You state the numbers all the time. 238 days. There you go, Daddy. And look at her. She comes out here wearing nothing short of a lingerie outfit. If Brooke wanted to be in her position, maybe she should do the same thing. Have some respect. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, look at Tara. Look how she's dressed. I mean, come on. It's your wrestling attire. And there's nothing short of a lingerie outfit with this neck breaker there. Here's the cover by Taryn Terrell. Brooke kicks out at two. Still to come. EC3 defends his world championship against Drew Galloway. Tigre Uno has already retained his X Division championship. And will we crown a new knockouts champion here tonight in the form of Brooke? Don't forget, we're going to take a look back, an exclusive look back at Slammiversary and the non sanctioned match between James Storm and Magnus. But this is a sanctioned match, so what are the Dollhouse doing to Brooke on the outside? Well, they haven't done anything yet, 
Josh Bullock. Really? Why is Brooke out there? I mean, it's called self defense, if you ask me. Uh, the anchor was picked, and then Taryn kicked her out of the ring. And now the Dollhouse are illegally attacking the challenge of this match. Actually, they just helped her back in the ring. I think we should applaud them. Covered by Taryn Terrell. It's not a Lumber Girls match, so that's not their role. Anything else? Taryn Terrell snaps suplex in the center of the ring. Taryn floats over, hooks the outside leg, and Brooke kicks out at two. Well, Brooke is showing that she definitely is in it to win it. I don't blame her. She's held the knockout championship title. She wants it again. But I don't think she has what it takes to take it from the dollhouse leader, Taryn Terrell. But well, let's see. Short arm reversal, side Russian leg sweep. Brooke flies into the cover, and Taryn kicks out. I think that every knockout watching this matchup in the back wants Brooke to defeat Taryn. They want this reign of Taryn Terrell to finally end after nearly 250 days. So what I'm saying, Pope, is that I feel that you, Marty, and Jade are the only people that want Taryn, nice missile drop kick, to retain her championship. You think? How about all the people that, that watches Impact Wrestling on a weekly basis? How about all the people that are going to the website ooh, to see the Knockouts champion in her glorious attire? I beg the difference, but right now, Brooke is taking control of this match, shot. Yeah, the challenger looking good here. Brooke knows what's at stake, trying to keep Marty and Jade at bay, and once again from behind, the champion blindsides Brooke. Well, you never turn your back on your opponent in a match, so I'm not gonna call it a blind side. She was only doing what anyone would do. It's a championship match. Wow, that was nasty, and I like it. Referee Earl Hebner doing the best that he can. He didn't actually see Brooke or Jade get physically involved, or else they'd be in the locker room right now. We know when it comes to the knockouts division. Oh, senior referee Earl Hebner does not take anything lightly. He stays on top of it, just as he's doing now. But there's no reason. The dollhouse minding their business, letting Taryn Terrell take control of this match once again. Just toying with her. And this is what you talked about earlier. Taryn Terrell is just having her way. Toying, you know, she don't even see Brooke. She's not threatened one bit, Josh. Well, Taryn has the challenger back inside the ring. The champion can take her time. Brooke can only win the title by pinfall or submission. Absolutely. But I doubt that's going to happen. The champion on the top rope. Taryn crossbody. Has Taryn done enough to retain her title? Brooke got that outside shoulder up. Taryn wants another cover. It was a little deeper. And Brooke kicked out once again. Uh, showing frustration is Taryn Terrell. Keep your cool, Dolly. Keep your cool. And now Brooke inside cradle. Taryn down, and Brooke nearly became champion. It happens just like that. Taryn Terrell has gotten frustrated in this match. She's lost her focus, and that may benefit the challenger. Taryn missed there. Major opportunity here for Brooke. Not looking good for the knockout champion. Will Brooke capitalize at this moment? Taryn Terrell appears to be shaken. Confused. Brooke has to take advantage right now, running clothesline. Challenger trying to create space, takes the champion down yet again. High back elbow. Brooke building speed and momentum. The champion down yet again. Is Brooke just one or two moves away from ending the reign of Taryn Terrell? It's like a running tackle there by the challenger. Shoulder tackle, almost like a clothesline. Absolutely, Taryn, she, she, she's appeared to be celebrating. Her reversal is sending Brooke into the corner, but Brooke yeah, is but floated Brooke, out. Yeah, Brooke chose the wrong side of the ring to go to the top rope. It allowed Marty and Jade to get involved. 
Jay distracted the referee, and Marty sent Brooke all the way down to the canvas. And once again, the Dollhouse are gonna make sure that Taryn Terrell leaves as Knockouts champion. Josh, what's, what's going on? No idea. Our monitors are out. Is the audio still here? That's, that's gotta be, that's Gail Kim. Oh boy. Marty's down. I believe that's Jade trying to get to the former Knockouts champion. Oh man, did you hear that thud? Gail Kim is the equalizer here tonight. Gail Kim doing moves straight out of Mortal Kombat. Good grief. Almost like a 6-1-9 on the out. And the lights are out again. Like that, she's gone. And like that, Taryn Terrell is left on her own. Brooke with the Butterface Maker in the center of the ring. And Brooke oh. is three-time Knockouts champion. Your winner and new Knockouts champion, Brooke! 238 days and the reign is over. Day one starts right now for Brooke. And it took Gail Kim to provide being the X Factor in this matchup. I can't believe it, Josh. Brooke has done it. But the dollhouse, what does this mean? The title is no longer on Taryn Terrell. <laughs> this, this, this is not good. Taryn Terrell's reign of terror is over. Playtime is over. Brooke is the new Knockouts Champion.